And here we are with general manager and head coach for the Arizona Rattlers, the United Bowl champion Arizona Rattlers, by the way. Their first year in the league taking out the six-time defending Sioux Falls Storm. So, Coach, we, we talked up there in South Dakota uh, after the game. From then, that point, till today, any do you see it differently now? I mean, have you, you have time now to really appreciate it? Uh, how do you feel? I mean, I feel I feel good. And I, you know, I feel like our, our guys earned it. And, you know, we went out there and took it to them. We never trailed in the game. We led the whole game. So even though they came back and made it close in the third quarter, you know, if you go back and really analyze the game, there was two or three plays that should have went our way that that third quarter run should have never happened. But it did, and that's part of the game, and, and referees are part of the game. So, yeah. you, know, uh, you know, at the end of the day, we found a way to win. That's what's important. I, I thought, I don't know what the final stats were. I know you had like six or seven stops. The eight. D, eight stops. I mean, def your defense was just outstanding. I mean, I don't know if it could even get any better than that. How, what do you feel? Well, about they that? play that way the whole whole way yeah. down the backstretch. I mean, we were getting a lot of stops every game, and our, you know, we, defense wins championships. And you know, uh, yeah. Coach Chernigan, uh, you know, did an outstanding job with his guys up front, and you know, uh, and the DBs in the back. So, um, you know, just defense wins championships. So you couldn't say enough about those guys. They went out, and played hard, and yeah. we had, we brought a physical brand of football yeah. to this league. Yeah, definitely. They the other team noticed it, no doubt about it. Now, at what point do you sort of file this away, done with celebration, and you get that burning that's, oh, I can't wait till next year? You know, I can't wait the next year, but I need some time off. I need, yeah. I need some rest. Uh, you know, I, I really was feeling like I was kind of run down mm. uh, this year, and, and uh, a lot of things going on in this offseason. You know, I had the, the skin cancer surgery in the offseason while we were trying to build the roster, playbooks, all that stuff. So, uh, you know, I was tired this year. You yeah. know, I was tired, and and uh, you know, towards the end of the season, it's hot out there, and sun beats you down, and yeah. and uh, just all those long days, and it catches up with you. So, I'm gonna I'm gonna go somewhere and relax. I, I don't blame you. Yeah, but I gotta tell you, I was commenting to some friends and colleagues that you were the most, you have the most energy. Yeah. of any person I've ever known. So when you feel tired, no one notices it. It's well, like, you know, I can't take vacations. Cause my wife yeah. says I don't take vacation. When I'm on vacation, <laughs> I'm making a lot of phone calls I hear, and yeah. lining things up. So yeah. it's just how my mind works. I, 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 I guess I fear falling behind. And, uh, you know, when you put your name on something, you want to do it right. You want to sign your work with excellence. So, you know, I just that's just how I'm wired. And, and uh, you know, even though I say I'm going to go get some rest, I know I'm probably... Uh, going to go right back to work here pretty soon. I hear you. One last question that I'm really interested in is you have such intangible great skills along with all the other technical skills, passion, commitment, determination. What is, what's the most important thing? Uh, how about like willpower, for example? Do you, you have amazing willpower. Yeah, I, I, you know, I, I think uh, work ethic. Yeah. You know, you, know, you can, you know, I always tell the guys, hey, we might not be the smartest group of guys, but we're going to outwork people. Yeah, you, know? so, you definitely outwork uh, people. Yeah. But uh, we do. we got some intelligent people uh, yeah. in that organization and know how to make the right decisions. But I think you got to have that work ethic, man. you you just yeah. got to be relentless. And, and I think the people, when, when it starts at the top, the people that, that are under you will will, will follow yeah. you know, that, that line of work ethic if, if, uh, you know, if, if they see it from the top down. So... Uh, this organization is awesome, and, and we're committed to, you know, to putting a great product on the field. Yeah.